Uh, I never feel anything's calm anymore, so <laughs> I think that uh, what we will have in 2010 is uh, the, the end game in terms of uh, EU regulatory uh, output, the end game in terms of US regulatory output, uh, a lot more pressure from, uh, from some quarters on the hedge fund industry. And I think that will cast a, a bit of gloom about uh, it won't affect uh, performance, uh, but it will affect how managers operate, how they build their in infrastructure, where they base their businesses. The driver of people looking outside the UK is, is really it's a fiscal driver. It's people saying they don't want a 25% uh, hike in, in tax and therefore they're looking for a jurisdiction that's more, maybe more favourable to, to personal tax. Um, and therefore somewhere like Switzerland, which has always been a magnet to high net worth individuals, would be attractive in, 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 in that uh, uh, sense. I don't think it's to do with regulation at all. I mean, I, I think some people have said it, it's in, in response to regulatory pressure. I don't think that's the answer. The answer is really a fiscal driver. That's, uh, and Switzerland has always been, has, has always given people tax surety going forward. I suppose the first comment is it's great to see the industry galvanised. Um, I, I do think that the industry was slow when it came out initially. There was a very subdued reaction, um, but through a combination of factors, AMA, for example, playing a lead role. Uh, politicians um, becoming more informed as other industry groups. It, it's great to see that because that was that was vital and important. Um, we will ultimately, I believe, end up in 2011 with regulation on a pan-European basis that will be significantly watered down from what is there today. That's my belief. Um, I think we all welcome good, transparent regulation that is easy to operate and manage. Uh, but what's there or what's proposed is just not done. Uh, it's been written by politicians um, and is being used as a political tool. Um, and in places, uh, it's, it's, it's just not sensible. Uh, so I, I see that that is changing. I welcome the comments that the Swedes have brought out. Um, and I, I hope that it's, uh, the Spaniards can continue that. Um, because clearly it's not going to pass within the next three months. Um, but I, I do believe that we will have regulation on a pan-European basis, and um, I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. What I'd like to see is a globalisation of standards that are applied to the industry in things like liquidity, in areas such as um, you know, preventing uh, regulatory arbitrage. And I think there was an opportunity for Obama uh, with his act to actually look more globally than, than, than he has done. And I think that's a, that's a disappointment you know, and that's a missed opportunity. So what I try to do is to put into place global standards that everybody adhere to uh, and that would be better for investors uh, and better for the industry as a whole. Uh, well, we, we're expecting uh, significant growth uh, across all the areas. Uh, we're very focused on uh, risk and valuation and we have a, a very exciting new software product that uh, Christian Zeiler here has uh, developed over some time and which we're now rolling out to uh, hedge fund managers. And I think that will become uh, the gold standard uh, for, for risk and valuation software. Uh, I think that uh, as more of the industry develops outside the UK and US, uh, we will develop as well, um, looking particularly at Asia, uh, further growth, growth in uh, Switzerland, for example. Um, so those are some of the areas of growth, and I think that um, we'll see more investor uh, desire for uh, stronger operations within the manager, and that will uh, reflect in the way that uh, they outsource their due diligence to us, and in the way that managers build their operational infrastructure more strongly.